Okay, so we're recording today here on Thursday. This is the uh, March 26th, and the action is still very volatile. You can see the Dow's up 858 points, and I'm going to go over some stuff in the room. But before I do here, and we'll probably do some volunteer trades, before I do, realize that futures trading is risky and only risk capital should be deployed, and risk capital is defined that money that can be lost without jeopardizing one's financial security or lifestyle. Well, we had a blowout negative employment report today, which you got to admit, the underlying strength in the market is starting to shine through here because with this uh, blowout unemployment report, a record 3.3 million Americans just filed for unemployment. Um, because, you know, they're thinking this virus thing could last for a while and makes sense. You know, that's going to stretch things a little bit for the government, but uh, our President Trump will get everything organized back together as he's already doing, getting ready to have an Easter launch for um, bringing people back to work. So this is very astounding to have this when you have this. So it's clear that we're in very unusual times. So we're, we're just going to talk about the market a little bit here. And uh, I'm going to go over some things with you here uh, in the room. Now, there's a couple of things that I want to talk about. And that is our layout here in the room, the day traders action. And then we'll get to some uh, trades if I see some that merit things, but this will give you a chance to understand how I trade and the methods that I use and things that I watch for. Now, first of all, <clears throat> these are these charts are colored marked. These are my boomerang day trader software. It's my world famous software that's been around for about 10 years. And um, it's just, it's been a worldwide bestseller for the longest time. It's really excellent. Now, in the live room trading the NASDAQ, what I call the chess game with the markets, we don't, I don't use the boomerang method exactly, but on crude oil, it's beautiful. Like here's a trade on crude oil right here. See the long on this dot here and up it goes. Here's another, here's a short here. See all the dynamic trend bands are all matching color. Here's a short pullback. Down they go, and we're only scalping for 10 ticks on the crude oil. And that's why I display these charts in here, because we teach you the method, and then that way you're able to trade for yourself. Now, lately, I haven't paid much attention to crude oil. I've kind of let it go because it got smashed really hard. Now, look at it, it's trading way down near 20 bucks a barrel. Some say it's going to 10. That's a big whatever, because we just scalp with the system. But we've kind of let it go, and because of this big fiasco in the markets, I've been focusing on the mini NASDAQ. Now, let's see here. I'm just running a test trade. Let's see if this market can break down uh, right in this area here. So let's call for a, a short. This is a volunteer trade at 97, 98 going short. See, there's still really whips on around it. We're going to deploy a 20 point stop but I may let that go any time here because uh, look at the way they're acting it's madness it's just really going nuts here so hold on a second um, that entry was around 7897 so watch for 97 to get hit on a move down towards 80 here let's see if they can hammer them down under 90 smack them down to 80 a fast move down under 82 will exit the trade Fast move under 82 will exit the trade. There's boom, there's 82. So you saw that live volunteer trade yourself. And it happened very quickly. And you can see the big, big red ink. How did Mohan know the market was going to go down there? Well, that's my secret. But we do share the trades with you here in the day traders action room. I had called the market out right when it was around 98, 99 areas. So we'll put it right here at 98. One thing we do is we're very honest in our reporting. And then I said I was targeting a move uh, down towards, um, I think I said 70. I actually forget, but when it, I think I said I'm targeting a move down towards 70. When it made this crunch, and then they hit him down here. I said to cover up the trade at 72 or lower. 
and now it's in this no it's 82 I said we're looking for move down to 80 from 97 and I said cover it 82 or lower and then they right in here they crunched them down under 82 so that trade was good for a volunteer trade regular volunteer trade from 97 down to 82 so just to give you an idea of how you can make money in our room 97 to 82 is plus 15 points are you with me take 97 subtract 82 all we're talking about the last four digits here we're not worried about the handle although lately the market is just flying literally soaring through the hundred point even handles so you have to kind of keep record of that I usually just when I'm doing my marking these down in my yellow pad which we recommend all our new traders do for this part of the training just watch for the first three days of the market just suspend all judgment it's not costing you a lot of money we're the lowest cost room in the industry and the best in accuracy and profits as far as I've seen and I've had my soldiers my hundreds of traders I've said anything else you see out there let me know about it because I just want to you know if I'm gonna make that statement I have to let you know that it's been investigated for many many years so what we did there was we shorted 97 I told you short as it go short and yeah it was tricky because when we got short right around here they jammed them up substantially I mean but we're we we're using a 20 point stop in the mini Nasdaq absolutely necessary and yeah they get hit once in a while and sometimes I get out before it gets hit but it's rare you know it's, and but I that is still necessary in this current market and the volatility that's going on so no problem there there's didn't hit the 20 point stop and then they got crunched down at 82 now listen to this here's what's beautiful now by the way I don't have this on the record but just prior to this before I started the recording we did a test trade which was not an official volunteer trade but a test trade a lot of my members here know me real well and they'll take the, the test trades too but I took a test trade at 95 short and we covered them at 71 for 24 points but this one was very specific looking for a move to 80 but whenever the price action gives me a hard fast move down towards that number I'm gonna clip the trade what I call clipping the trade or it means exit it means going over and stomping on your <laughs> at the mar exit at the market we mostly use market entries 90% of the time or more we use 90 we use uh, market entries so that 15 points <clears throat> times 20 bucks is $300 per contract Are you with me so write that down on your yellow pad 15 points times it's $20 a point for the mini Nasdaq $300 and that was um, one trade so that's $5 for the trade so that's 295 per contract Are you with me that that gave us $295 per contract that makes sense right now in our room normally which has been this whole situation in the marks and everything normal is out the window we have a whole new world a whole new market now not just a new market which because the markets every day and every hour is a new market but every this is like a whole new world <laughs> whole new market which is going to change soon and we can talk about that later if you want but right now 295 instead of our usual measuring our track record based on four contracts we're telling everybody that's experienced in the room you know they have to feel it out within themselves we don't advise you on how much to trade or what to do with your money or anything I just call out trade signals and you can take those or not but 295 so we recommend half so that'd be times two contracts is 590 points do you see how that works so one thing I didn't mention I mentioned the volunteer trade we just did that's 590 points 
the test trade before that I was just testing the market out a little bit and I decided I'd turn on the tape recorder which is great and we had that test trade however before that right off the opening today is one of those fortunate days where right off the opening I had already made a trade and shorted the market on a live trade it was our first and only trade 57 was the short um, it had to have been 57 I think yeah it was right in this area I believe yeah because it was right off the opening 57 yes 57 right here and all we did was we shorted from here down to here it happened very quickly the trade only took about a, one or two minutes and we shorted 57 and covered him up at 45 for 12 points so that 12 points again times $20 is $240 minus the five bucks for commission we usually measure at four dollars and fifty cents when we total everything up that's the you shouldn't pay much more than that for round turn all in commission rate on the Nasdaq futures but we round them up to five if we're doing an individual one so that was 235 bucks per point times two is 470 now in our room we're real into getting our paycheck for the day and then stopping trading we stop we have that discipline and we do that what I've been doing since the whole um, coronavirus uh, fiasco here, which is a whole seminar in itself about the BS that's going on with that, but more on that later. And what's going to be coming up in the next three weeks, I'm making a very dire forecast for the next few weeks, which I'll talk about in a little bit too. Hope it doesn't happen, but I need you to be prepared for it. And again, talk about a minute. 235 per contract in trade number one. Two minute trade right off when we started trading, just five to six, seven, eight minutes into the market, was $470. So our traders know we're done. That's our $500 there. That's close enough for rock and roll. You know, we don't need, we just want to step out of harm's way in these markets. However, Many of the traders, like Mohan, is kind of a little bit of a Rambo trader, a little bit of a riverboat gambler. <laughs> I'm not really a gambler, but I'm just saying there's that flair element of a Rambo <laughs> riverboat trader. We like to trade, right? And these are the markets to get the bigger points. As you just saw live here on this recording, which was great. That was great that that opportunity came so I could demonstrate that to you. But... Um, so that test trade, and I, I offered it as a test trade to see where the market would go, not as a, and we'll do a few more soon here, and not as a volunteer trade, but the third trade, which is one you saw recorded here live, we did for you, 15 points, that was a volunteer trade, and then at that point, traders can say, yeah, I like the action, I got my 12 points, but I'm willing to sacrifice that for to take a volunteer trade, because that's what you're doing. Now, if you caught the first trade for 12 points and the third one there, the, the volunteer trade or the first volunteer trade, for God's sake, stop trading. <laughs> Don't keep trading because you got 15 plus 12 points. You got a 27 point day. That's huge for us. On two contracts, that's 590 plus 470. That's 1,060 days. So you got to stop trading. Please stop trading. I'm going to do some more volunteer trades, probably a couple of tests, maybe. I never know for sure. But please stop trading. We've had all winning days this month, by the way. Here we are. The, I called the top of this market in mid-February. I said, get out of three fourths of your stock. It wasn't enough. I'm still kicking myself. I wish I would have gotten out of more. 
most people who had full stock portfolios that either didn't listen to me in the room or just were out there and weren't in our room and didn't hear that call and I put it out but <laughs> what can you do you know people I had, was I got an email I was joking with our members I said this guy emailed me he says oh Mohan you don't understand the market's never gonna crash and I kind of joked to everybody he said well there's the top when the crazy traders finally get so brainwashed by the Fed riggers who have goosed and goosed and jammed that market up to the you know point of ridiculousness that they don't think and I, I, I was up there during mid-February I said sell three fourths of your stocks immediately get out of this thing keep a couple of conservative ones that have good dividends and hedge that do everything you can protect yourself and even though I took my own advice and did that I kept thinking you know you, your brain can't wrap around that it. it's not gonna be that bad right but I knew it would be a rough one <clears throat> and I didn't picture it'd be this bad either so I'm down about seven percent whereas many of the portfolios out there got completely blown apart or lost 60 70 percent in some cases um, which you know makes me sad brings tears to my eyes to think that I couldn't have somehow got my message to him but we've done it before and just recently I called a bottom too I said um, and I'll show you it's crystal clear I'm not gonna just make this crap up we don't play games like that in the day traders action room at all no need to do that but I'll show you the briefing for today just so you understand because this is part of our training is if you're new to the room um, it's very important we got a lot of new members that have come in the last few days we appreciate that very much and thanks for joining with us you join the highest profit most accurate trading room in the industry at the lowest and the lowest cost one in the industry so that was your first trade and that was a good one you went long the day traders action room and you did the right things when you can get the best for the lowest price the best in the industry for the lowest price industry that's a good deal well let me show you how to to work with us here in the day traders action room now where's that darn briefing there it is okay so every day I put out something I call the day traders action briefing and it comes in your email looks like this here's your link for today in cap letters so it hopefully sets it aside for your other emails so in the briefing I'll just scroll down but it I just recently modified this first of all you can use any trading platform to trade our signals you don't need to have uh, ninja trader and boomerang day trader which ninja trader is amazing brilliant trading software that I used to build boomerang day trader and going back 10 years back in the very very early days of ninja trader but uh, that's fine but you can trade any as long as it's a real trade platform a futures trading platform for, gotten from a futures broker and you see that the prices line up with mine showing on the chart here you get this over move this over here there we go you got to make sure and that's why for the first two to three days when you're new do not do anything but just watch in the room watch my trades and don't judge anything just forget about what you think you know and just learn how to follow my trades so you can make some money because we're up so far today <coughs> 24 12 and 15 if you count the test trade 24 plus 12 plus 15 51 points you see <clears throat> most traders this morning have had their brains blown out because they come jumping in and going oh I gotta get long I gotta get long all oh, the markets up 800 why they come in I was talking to our members in the room I was going why are all these people jumping in the market now because we watch the volume here in the day traders action room we watch the volume very carefully this is a volume meter right here look at this larger than normal volume here but it was last week it was running 2500 I mean and I was asking members room we're kind of chuckling about it why do these people come out of the woodwork when they see the market going crazy and up really big they're not going to be able they're going to lose money and not be able to trade with what they know in the normal market which is already fast and they think they're going to come into this and what 
what are they going to do in the futures market? So we were kind of chuckling about that. But I thought I'd mention that and show you our volume meter here. This is the volume on each individual candle on mini NASDAQ. And this is a four period average. So all we have to do is glance at this and we can see how strong or weak the volume is. As long as it's above this blue line, that's pretty good. And if it drops a little below it, it's okay, but things will slow down. And below this line, trading really gets a lot riskier because that's very slow volume. So I redid this. We open our room every day at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. That's 7 o'clock my time here on the East Coast. That's These are the, or West Coast. These are West Coast charts here. We live in communist California. I love it here. It's a beautiful place, but uh, we got to just get rid of some of these communists with their sanctuary cities and we'll be okay. They're really, really miserably rotten people. They stole uh, elections, all kinds of stuff goes on here. It's unbelievable. New York's worse. But anyway, we love these places. We love America, but we got to get rid of the communists. That's the problem. They used to be called Democrats back during the days of Kennedy, who was a brilliant, wonderful man and his brother Bobby tried to get there. They both got blown away by the deep state. That's the people who are rigging these markets every day. And you may not understand this yet, but that's the ones who unleashed the coronavirus on us, be, on the world, because they had a bad case of sour grapes because they tried two things, namely the three-year Mueller report and the fake impeachment thing to get rid of President Trump, and it didn't work. So they, un, right on the exact day of the impeachment trial, they realized it was going to lose. That's when they started pumping up the news in America on the coronavirus. And then what is the first thing they did? Even though President Trump immediately reacted to it and took charge, and his approval ratings now are the highest ever of any president, they start blaming President Trump. He didn't do anything about enough. Well, every, that's because they had the news all caught up, the fake news, the manipulated news controlled by the deep state all caught up in the impeachment trial until they realized it was another failure. So plan B, and I'm going to tell you about plan C a little bit, you know, in about 20 minutes or so, which you need to know when this fails, because it is now because of what I mentioned here in the briefing, by the way, we use 20 point stop, which we've already talked about today. And those are airbag stops, just like an airbag in a car. They prevent you from getting killed. When that airbag goes off, you might need a chiropractic adjustment or two, but you're going to be all right. Your head's not going to go through the windshield. So we can easily recover from 20 point stops, even two or three in a row if that happened. I can easily recover from that just by trading them. But here I put the US market bias notes. Now the market isn't just a bunch of numbers and why don't you just talk about the markets? Well, because what's affecting the markets right now and has been for the last four years, especially always, but Prior to that, I've been running the room for a long time, but has been this intense deep state attempts to take President Trump out of the office illegally and criminally. And those people are all going to pay for their crimes of treason for doing that. You'll see that's part of the plan coming up. We have a plan too, the Patriots, definitely. And I share those plans in a light way here. Can't tell you everything, but they are going to be arrested and Guantanamo prison over in Cuba has been has, they put over 400 million dollars into building it up and there's over 800 troops portion of that station there might eventually be 800 troops guarding some very high profile people in the near future just keep that in mind why did they put 800 troops in Guantanamo I thought it was empty because Obama let all the terrorists go out of there you knew that right did you not know that Obama let all those high-profile terrorists that were captured he let them out let them go free that's another story another issue but if you didn't know that then you should listen carefully to what we talk about in the day traders action room help you get a clue anyway Monday update, I'm trying to show you where I called the bottom here. Vote in the House to reset, that was this week, to relief package for the coronavirus. Now notice how immediately the communists, led by Nancy Pelosi, they started screwing around with it and playing games like she always does, 
trying to do little power games, very childish and disgusting. And uh, same with Shifty Schiff, starts playing games. Anyway, so I said, let's see if the current obstruction games will continue at the expense of the American people. Well, they did. And supposedly tomorrow, now we've got to wait another day, there's going to be a vote. Whatever, we're all, most people listening to this are going to get a nice paycheck of 1200 bucks or so. Nothing wrong with that, right? We'll take it. What could appear as we appears we could be close to a bottoming area in the markets as this wears on. So that was my first call. It, it appears I was, you know, this has been an insanely volatile market. But I said uh, the news I gave you last week about immediate relief for the virus uh, situation, i.e., in other words, the chloroquine, <laughs> sorry, chloroquine which also combined with azithromycin, azithromycin, I'm not a doctor, you can tell, is known as a Z-Pack. But chloroquine, since I mentioned it early last week, and now Monday, especially putting it in here and talking about it, is gone viral. And everybody they're using it on is getting cured from coronavirus within a couple of days, being literally people going on tea with tears in their eyes thanking President Trump because he brought it up too the day after I did in the room here and he immediately said I want, we want to order millions and millions of tabs he had a lot of faith in it and they were fighting in the deep state yes indeed some of those people like that little guy standing up at the stage next to the so called doctor and the CDC are complicit in criminal activities because they have known about chloroquine chloroquine for use on stuff like this for oh since 2005 that's 13 years ago and they didn't even mention it they're just trying to hype the coronavirus oh no well we can't use that may not be effective and one one communist governor in nevada and one other one joined him in new Mex new mexico first in nevada these communist governors there have banned chloroquine for use, which has already been proven in three countries to stop the virus in its tracks and heal people. And now we have live interviews on TV on several shows, and you can see them on the internet of people saying, I was on my deathbed. I was calling people, telling them that to goodbye. And I found out by watching Laura Ingram. She had it on her show. We was talking about it. He, he had his doctor get it for him. He got it that night and took it, woke up the middle of the night said, I feel 80% better. The next day, he was all peppy and happy, realized he was going to recover. And two days later, he was released from the hospital. So Mohan here was mentioning, that's me, I was mentioning that here, a bottoming area in the 2170. And in the room, I said 2170 to 90 zone. I gave it a little 20-point cushion there. Let's see if it holds up as we analyze things in the room today. So possible bottoming. First, I said, it appears we could be close to the bottom of the area. And the next day, for some reason, this gray thing's blocking it. But this shows uh, possible bottoming. And then I gave you an exact number. And so I mentioned on Tuesday, the, chlor chloroquine, the chloroquine cure for coronavirus, as discussed yesterday, going viral. And now a big part of the conversation so I will not comment it that much anymore. I'm doing on this as a final thing on this tape here, just to let you know that I was a first, one of the first people mentioning this in a wide scale through our YouTube channel and everything. Now it's gone viral. The doctors are all using it. Just yesterday there was a report this doctor is treating 400 people with the coronavirus. He said, nobody's died. I'm using chloroquine. Nobody's died. And he said, everybody's getting better. Okay, and the CDC knew about this since 2005, and they said nothing. Okay, keep that in mind. There needs to be some investigation there. The current administrators, she's the one who really needs to go. That's Rod Rosenstein's sister. A Rod Rosenstein, if you remember, was the architect of the, uh, who was in the FBI, is the architect of the impeach Trump and the Mueller investigation. 
he was a famous guy who said, I'll wear a wire. I'll secretly, criminally, as a traitor, go into the president's office wearing a wire with a smile on my face and try to record some stuff that he says that we can use to get him out of the office. So that's his sister, just to give you an idea. What could go wrong with that? Well, we're seeing that now. A virus unleashed on us. And Rod Rosenstein's sister is head of the CDC, not mentioning chloroquine. Chloroquine's viral now. So like I said, mission accomplished. I did my job. That's all that matters. So this is our briefing. I mentioned the bottoming area. Resistance now is at 77.50 on the NQ. Well, guess what? We're at 76.64. Let me pull off this real quick and then I'll complete that. Let me show you where the resistance is. I'm going to pull this chart up here. We're not far. It's right here. Right about here. 77.50. This purple line. We see it trying to push up there. Now I made a call yesterday. I said there's too many bulls in the market. I love this. I love the gains. If I go down here and look at some of the things I'm recommended to you, they're making huge gains. We appreciate that. HTGC, all of our income instruments are coming back strong. I appreciate that so much. Gold is up. I told you we we're long gold. Now this is a heat map down here as far as our part of our tour of the day traders action room this is a heat map of all the major sections so we can compare the composite index the Dow and the transportation index up four percent three and two an average of overall of about three point two five percent and then we can go down here we, we can see which segments are exceeding that or kind of leading that and it appears to be the financial section today, the healthcare section, and the Dow, the industrial section, which is great. You need that to bring it all back. Oh, and down here, XLRE is the real estate. That's because the Fed is pumping money into mortgage type investments now to shore up that market. So that's it again. These are just some recommendations I made. We'll talk about these a little later, but you can see they're all doing fantastic here. Um, so usually I cover the volume this with the volume meter and click that chart so we have wide open charts. Now back to my briefing real quick and I'll tell you what I really, really want you to be careful of and prepare for. And this was posted um, yesterday. We continue to watch for support as chloroquine is now moving fast as the cure for coronavirus. We can stop the virus in its tracks. It can be stopped. So far, there's been, they're trying to play it down on TV. And you, as you read this, go, well, you know, they say on TV, that's right. That's the deep state talking. They know, <coughs> excuse me, that it will stop it in its tracks. So they're trying to condition the public once again because, well, it needs to be tested. No goofball, not you guys, but news, let, news reporter, because I'm hearing this crap all over there too. No goofball. It has been tested in four different countries. And now in America, there's group examples of hundreds of patients that have already taken it and gotten brought back from the, the jaws of death in some cases. And many who were mildly sick or whatever took it, and it's that's it. It's gone. So we really need to understand that. Well, now the worst nightmare of the deep state riggers is that chloroquine, chloroquine, why do I keep saying it wrong? Something wrong with my brain today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Chloroquine, now that that's going viral, that's upsetting the deep state. So you see governors, communist governors, I call them communists. It's the worst name they deserve, but we'll call them that. They're not Democrats. They're not Kennedy Democrats. When I was a kid, I heard about Kennedy getting shot, and I didn't know a lot about politics, but I knew he was a good man because I saw everybody crying, and it was so sad. He was a very, very good man. 
so was his brother Bobby that those were Democrats they cared about the people a lot nowadays it's all just a con job these people are communists trying to take over the country and instill this communism crap gee what could go wrong with that you know anyway the point is so two governors now have banned chloroquine banned it I'm trying to give you things that'll help you understand the proof of what I'm saying so the deep state is angry that we figured out that they're the ones who started this virus to try to ruin President Trump. It was like the, the last step they could take. But I'll get to you that in a minute. There's one more step they have in mind, and I'm going to tell it to you today, and I we pray to God it doesn't happen. But just like this virus, if I had told you mid-February, sell all your stocks because there's going to be this big giant pandemic, and it's going to go all over the whole world, and it's really not that big of a deal because the flu an average of 30 to 100,000 people a year die every year year after year after year from the flu so it's not that big of a deal it's substantially less you wouldn't believe me so you might not believe me when I tell you what their next plan is which is now that chloroquine is going viral they know it's gonna stop this Pan, quote pandemic that they started in China because it got started in China doesn't mean the Chinese people started it or that it was a bat in a food no, so much BS out there point is the next step we have to watch for and I hope it won't happen and I'm gonna say, but over the next couple of weeks now they got a target President Trump says on on Easter which is April 12th we're going to put everybody back to work and lift this thing back up and the Dow's back and everything. They're sitting there seething and growling. They wanted a worldwide pandemic to just destroy America because that's what they're trying to do with communism. They figured, well, as a last resort, if we can't get rid of President Trump, he's going to round us all up and arrest us. We're doomed anyway, so we'll just unleash this virus on the world. Now that that's going to fail because chloroquine is out there, and other things you're going to bring out too but chloroquine will do it it'll stop in its tracks as it already in America proven is doing watch out prepare yourself at least mentally if not by storms and food watch out for a fake show of some kind of solar uh, solar um, you know blackout or meteorite you know explosion near our galaxy or something that they're gonna try to go after the grid electrical grids and shut down the electricity for a couple of days across the board all I'm telling you is I'm I've heard some murmur of this in some inside circles that I think are really important so I'm not saying it's gonna happen I'm just giving you a warning when the chloroquine, chloroquine goes out like it's doing now virally and people are scrambling for it mil, three of the major pharmaceutical manufacturers are putting it out there keep in mind the reason they're trying to stop chloroquine, chloroquine now is because there's no money in it brand new vaccines and all that stuff they can make billions of dollars on that there's no money in chloroquine. It's been around for 60 years. It's proven. It's already a generic. It's FDA approved long ago. I hope you listened to my message today and what I just told you. Be prepared. Watch out for the dates between any time between now and up to April 12th and especially April 19th. That's a whole other story. I could do a whole other seminar on that, but I don't want this tape to run too long. So I've issued the warning and I've given you a little tour of our day traders action room. We don't just call the markets, but we call things that are going to affect the markets because that's the same thing, right? If the market's going to be bearish or I'm like I'm calling now, there's too many bulls. So odds are they're going to pull back stronger at some point when they get tired up here. But right now they're slowing down. I don't know yet. I've got to analyze the market. I think we're pretty close to, uh, uh, a short-sided move here so let me keep an eye on that and watch for that in fact I'll give you a trade but here's our briefing in the middle 
you click on this blue link and that's how you enter the room uh, there's another link to our YouTube channel which I'll show you in a minute but that wraps up uh, my uh, discussion on the chloroquine and the upcoming warning I just gave you let's pray to God it doesn't happen but you need to be prepared at least mentally for that what would you do if all the lights went out now and you couldn't even access your TV or your internet to find out what the hell's going on and the emergency broadcast comes on and somehow you get your landline up and you can call a hotline I don't know I don't know how they're gonna handle that I, I imagine President Trump knows about what I just said or is aware of the possibility and they probably are making private contingency plans not talking about it would you why would you you'd want to keep that clammed up you don't want it to happen I don't want it to happen I'm just mentioning it to warn you and I've got it there in my briefing so we'll see and now on this um, recording here all right so let's watch to see if we can get another short going here on um, stay ready and let's go ahead not quite yet I want to keep all winners today if I can here let's see if we can get, stay ready to go short Down, the ADD line is really strong. Oh, let's go ahead and go. Um, hold on. Short at the Order market right fell. here. 66, 65. So we're short at 66 by 65. Stop would be up there on 86. And let's see if we can get it to back off. And watching for 66 to take a hit down to 53 area. If they go down and bust 60, that'll be the first step. Busting 60, watch for a fast run down towards 54, 55 or lower. Let's see if we go. Okay, they just went down there and busted 50, or uh, they just went and busted 60 down there and they whipped it right back up. So, again, a lot of hopeful bulls out here. Let's watch again for the market to go down we're short around 66 67 let's see if they can back off breaking 60 60 even watching for move down to 54 or lower is the target goal is 54 but uh, stay ready to jump out on a fast dive down to 55 or lower 55 or lower but I'm still targeting 54 let's see take one more hit on the downside here under 60 down to 54 come on what see they're really stubborn on this bullish side here let's get them one more time one more pop down to 54 here we go let's see if we can hit them being really stubborn here it's not a tradable market anymore you can see why that should have easily gone down and nailed 54 just on momentum but they're whips on it back up here you see what I mean let's try one more time to break 60 down and nail that 54 down there <clears throat> the whipsaw market here let's nail 60 down they'll probably go a lot lower once they break it but I don't really care I'm just trying to get on the right side of the deal here <clears throat> one more chance to break 60 down and watch for a move um, breaking 60 to go down and nail 54 I don't know they're they're whips on it here let's give it a chance here give it one more chance see if they go down break 60 down they might just whip it up and knock out the stop but let's go ahead and go ahead and exit this trade Order right failed. here at the market 80 out at 80 they're just they're kind of rigging it up now I think the thing's gonna take another hit but it's literally an untradeable market at this point so that's okay I've given you this news I've given you my warning for the possible future here President Trump's earmarked um, on purpose he's did you notice we put a special message let's pack the churches on Easter 
da 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 well the deep state hates God they've always expressed this and their practices behind the scenes totally show and prove that too we already know that so what we're saying is watch out for what I told you let's be careful you know it's just good people trying to come back and have faith in their country and God and their jobs and just living the life you know and trying to get by so hopefully the power of all this togetherness will help us overcome these these criminals this literally this mafia that has took over America especially over the last four presidents you go back to George Bush senior who was executed by lethal injection he was he didn't die a natural death he was him and John McCain both were executed by lethal injection there's plenty of proof of that you can see all the proof watch the video of the funeral and etc etc but the point is then his then we had the Clinton era and those people keep escaping justice left and right new evidence on the emails she's being forced to do a testimony but now they're trying to appeal it uh, judicial watch or get her in court and just tear it apart and ideally we'll get some justice there and we will also and after that George Bush jr. but he's been singing like a canary he they know everything and that was way back at the funeral of his dad that that all was revealed so it's just a matter now of um, you know watching what comes to pass it's really it's literally a battle against good against evil right now and if you don't understand anything that I said it's all I've been researching this stuff for 40 years if you don't understand some of the things that I've said and you just think you know it's not real you have to stop yourself and look around and say where did this come from this happened in three weeks three four weeks all this that wasn't a coincidence it started here in America it, was, it had been going on in China they had planted it in China and what happened is the Patriot forces that are right now roaming the streets during this quiet down period and cleaning up the garbage they arrested 600 Mexican cartel members recently during this quiet period it just barely made the news and that's good the Patriot Army are out there cleaning up the garbage what are 600 Mexican cartel members doing in our country who let them in how did they get in you see why aren't they deported well you get the idea it's just like Guantanamo Bay why were all the terrorists that we showed them constantly during that whole period oh we got the terrorists here's Guantanamo Bay they showed them all the time in the news walking around in handcuffs and you know doing their uh, the Muslim prayers at the appointed hour and everything let them all go why did Obama let all those people go it's madness so anyway a lot of a lot of information today including about trading now that trade because of the nature of the market the riggers are kind of propping the thing up there so that trade got stopped out for 67 77 for 12 points at 79 no big deal so that was stopped out our first uh, trade we, we're not even trading most of the traders in the room have already stopped trading after that first trade where we got 12 points we had a test trade that gained 24 points a volunteer trade for 15 and then this one just got stopped out so I'll try to find another spot to nail a short so we can at least make back these 12 points okay so we'll do that and uh, we'll move on from here so anything I've said if it makes you uncomfortable that's good you should feel uncomfortable but to buy into the, the, the myth on television is not the answer taking shelter of a myth that was perpetrated by a criminal deep state operatives it's not an American thing it's not America versus China versus Russia they're everywhere 
and they've been controlling this thing for going back to you know long ago but especially during the last four presidents Bush senior Clinton and notice after Bush senior when he only got four years because the people didn't like him they started this program where every president got eight years because they didn't care if it was Democrat or Republican they were all in the same team they just needed eight years while that person is in there to run the show they don't run the show they're told what to do <clears throat> so they hated that because President Trump isn't that type of person he runs the show so that's why they're so anxious to get rid of him so let's go ahead and right here go short order at the market. build seven seventy seven hundred and then there was a quick drop to seventy eight and then there was a seventy seven um, hundred is should it be about our average price let's say seventy six ninety nine so Seven hundred seventy-seven twenty. Okay, so short and average price around seventy-six ninety-nine. Let's see if they can stop goosing the market up. They might keep goosing it up. I mean, the advanced client is really strong. Let's see if they can stop goosing it up and let this thing drop here. It should be good to go for a downside move. So I'm watching seventy-seven. 7700 for even numbers makes it easier to just watch 7700 they're still pushing it man oh man oh man they're still pushing and rigging the upside these are the riggers you can see them we've followed these guys for 20 years in the day traders action room that's how I started my service and this is this is a rigged market here they're trying to just keep propping it up and notice the downside is all just quick fast spikes in other words, they're not really letting it go. Just quick, fast spikes. So now, again, we're short 97, and I'm targeting a move down to 84. Good old 84. Okay, so short an average price of 76.99, and we're watching, we're short it. 99 here notice how that little dip there and they just won't let it go but we're watching for progress down to 84 targeting a move down to 84 here let's see if the riggers can back off a little bit and they can just kind of let them slide I think they're gonna we're gonna get a little slide and I'm it should be a larger scale target more like down to 70 but I'm just trying to target 84 here because they are really rigging this thing. They're really propping it up. The Fed's spending a lot of money as we speak right now on the mini NASDAQ market. I'm not sure exactly how they do it, but I conjecture that they do it on the dark pools. That's right. There are dark, what are called the dark pools where they can go in and place huge orders and we won't even see it sometimes for up to an hour when they place it. But I think they're placing orders in the dark pool and they'll just go they don't buy our mini Nasdaq because that they could just blow it up with one click the mouse <laughs> okay we got a problem again they're rigging it really hard here and they tried to make that little tiny drop down here and notice they're goosing it right back up they're right on our stops right around 7720 and there it looks like they're trying to push for that again this is this is a test trade or you can call it volunteer it's more of a test trade I'm trying to see if this market's going to cooperate and start trading in flow right now it's a rigged market it's severely rigged upside market and they're not letting the downside get any teeth look at this it should be willing to everything's in place for this to drop lower but they keep blocking it a lot of sellers coming in way too many buyers let's see if they can drop it back down under 7700 and then the goal is to see if they can smash 7700 down to 84 okay let's see if we get one of those long red candles these like two three four inch candles on my screen on the right side there and see if we can get one of those as they smash it now down to 84 and I think it could be substantially more but I'd be happy as a clam if they could just stop 
rigging it for a minute here and let this thing slide down to 84. So we're short at 7,776.99. It's easier to remember 7,700. So the stops at 7,720. Look at that. They start dropping it down, and what are they doing? Just rigging it back up here again. It's got a date with 84. Let's just hope they can take them down there before they try to goose it up and hit our stop. May have to exit this trade too, but. I'm really thinking we can get them to break down to 84. Let's see if we can get them going. They're, they're propping up all the dips and they're trying to goose the highs. It's got everything it needs here to drop down, but you notice they won't drop. They just keep pushing them up. Let's give it a chance, but it's now an, officially it's an untradeable market because the riggers are on steroids in this market trying to prop everything up trying to keep keep the dream alive here but I think the market's going to have to make a stronger a bigger scale move not on this move but I mean just overall it's going to have to make a stronger downside move pretty soon just to equalize the fact that there's just too many bulls. The general public is not going to catch a bottom like that. It's just generally not going to be the case. Again, they're still playing games here, and we're trying to get them to slide back down under 7,700 and nail them down to 84. And notice how, it, how, it is, how it's going. It's like pulling teeth. It's because the riggers got a tight vice grip on this market and they're just jamming it up and they're trying to ramp it up to that that test resistance up there at 7750. Let's see if they can hit them this time a little harder and smash it down under 90. Any fast hard move under 90 stay ready to jump out. If we get a fast hard move under 90, try to get out somewhere between 84 and 87. If we get a hard fast move down under 90, try to exit the trade at 87 or lower. I'm even have to shrinking have to shrink my things because it's so rigged. Look at this. It's disgusting. These aren't buyers. This is just all rigging. Ah, oh, it's too bad. Too bad. You can't trade these kind of markets. They're just so rigged. It's disgusting. Exit Order at the filled. market. Exit right there. 16, 17, 16. Just thoroughly disgusting. All right. So we got out at 16. Impossible to trade these markets now. They're just way over rigged by the Fed riggers. <clears throat> so that was a test trade there. Some may have taken it as a volunteer. It was a test trade, though. I was just trying to see, are they going to really, you know, move here? Or a volunteer trade. Either way, but it got, we didn't get stopped out, but we got out early. Um, 76.99 minus 77.16. So minus 17 points. Didn't hit the, the uh 20 point stop and they're out at 17. So that's the danger of trading in these markets with them being this rigged. It's too bad. Everybody's just so desperate to have the market turn around and yeah, they're walking it higher. They've got a strong advanced decline line to back it up, that's for sure. This goes to show you, though, it's trade these markets with less size. Our traders, which normally are trading an average about four contracts, some many, some trade much more, but average of four now trading one to two lots. So these last two losses are very small comparatively. I'm going to keep fighting here while we're recording this and doing everything here because. Uh, I want to I want to get our uh, money back in these two trades. So that's uh, 
20 and 29 points and see if we can do it but they're really pushing the rigging crap today and there is that uh, high up there that they're trying to reach up to this purple line up here that's what they're trying to do so the closer we get to that the better the short will be let's see if we can uh, work another short any time here okay so stay ready we're gonna work it and uh, take a chance it's always risky and uh, so let's go short Order right failed. here at the market 36 quarter 3650 37 there was a 38 print so we're short an average of around 37 and let's look for a move down to 77.10 77 10 trying to trying to get him down somewhere near 77 10 to 12 let's see if they can back him off what a fiasco isn't it so 37 47 57 is your automatic 20 point stop let's see if they can back it off this time get this thing smacked down a little bit lower boy the, even on this one they're still resisting it letting it sell off it's unbelievable Fed said that we're gonna just do endless quantitative easing now to get us out of this too many buyers in the market overbought and now even oh more overbought let's see if we can back it off or if they're gonna just keep goosing it here they might but at least we got them recording because whether win or lose it the idea is to see these markets and learn how to work with them and realize the risk inherent in them and plus all the things I've told you once you realize what's going on you have to take that chance and realize that uh, you know you don't have to trade the markets but these are very risky uh, markets especially today because now like I said the Fed is just they're real good at goosing highs and stuff like that but they're terrible at, at supporting lows and drops they're kind of doing that today but right now they're just they keep goosing the highs is all they're doing they're jamming it right up to that 7740 area here and uh, we can't we're, we're short at 37 we can't seem to get any punch on this I think we will get some let's see if we can get some punch on the downside here 37 watch for a hard fast move down under 20 and then 20 knocking them down towards 10 to 12 any move down under 14 get out any move down under 14 15 or lower look to exit the trade we just had a nice move down lower they went down to 1650 I was saying getting out at 15 or lower let's see if they do it again they should be able to hit them down there again try to get out at 15 or lower I like 7710 but we need to see them really get hit under 20 and there's like I said they're propping them up like crazy let's see if they can hit them back under 20 and knock them down towards 15 or lower to exit this trade let's see if they can hit them under 20 and look to exit at 15 or lower on a hard fast move see how they're goosing them up I mean it's so obvious and they've said we're going to goose the market until there's till we fix everything with our fake uh, rigging of the markets <laughs> great just what we need one more dip try to get them out at 16 or lower 16 now 16 or lower one more dip under 20 is what we need down to 16 or lower let's go come on hit him hit him hit him hit him <laughs> oh go ahead and exit under 18 there's 18 okay we got out at 18 right when I said get out at 18 see if we get a double double tap on 18 we got it we got him out at 18 though you see the low here originally I said 16 I said get him out at 18 
and you got to be fast and there's 17 and a quarter let's see if they go down and tab 18 again but we're out at 18 short at 37 and then out at 18 so let's just see if they come back in here well we got out at 18 so 37 short called out live I'll, I'll mark it here in the chart we had these previous lines from that last tree 37 was our average short <clears throat> and I was targeting a move to I shifted it several times I had to because of the price action I said first of all I said our target was 10 then I said 15 or lower and then I saw what it did and I've seen the price action. I said 18 or lower I shifted it to 18 in a millisecond it blinked under that let me lift this up and show you in a millisecond it blinked under 18 it's pretty amazing isn't it here's the exact low so just to show you the proof I have to really blow this up but I said 18 or lower and it was three four seconds later they went down to 1750 you see it right here they went to 1750 right on this candle clearing the 18 you got to be fast not it's not my fault that the markets are like this it is also not my fault of the information that I reported to you earlier if that in any way bothers you I'm sorry but that's what happened there's plenty what's the proof well you want proof in two sec in sentences you can't do that you have to research it like I have for 40 years you don't have to spend 40 years but there are I can give you guidance on where to go but that's not really my job you just have to do the research but if you do nothing else you know watch out President Trump has given the target Easter and he says let's load the churches and pray and stop this with prayer and stop this nonsense with uh, you know just getting together and prayer and not being afraid because they're pushing fear like anything and all these sold out fake news networks we already know they're fake news you've seen them even if you uh, happen to be on the other side which is kind of odd it's like really you know thousands hundreds of thousands of so-called Democrats I call them communists are joining Trump's party it's not even the Republican Party per se it's the Trump party I mean they want to make America great and restore America well when you got the news on here saying no no the coronavirus it's worse it's worse it's getting worse it's getting worse now that you know what I brought out long ago a week ago and has been brought out now it's viral like I said chlor chloroquine stop it in its tracks and you got two literally de like demonic type governors banning chloroquine in their state Nevada and uh, New Mexico so the people that are living in those states should do everything they can to haul those guys out of office vote them out and point out what kind of fool would ban something that'll stop the virus think about that it's one thing to say well it needs to be tested more and have that opinion but that's the the narrative that they're trying to drive on the news but what kind of fool who's in charge of the whole state a governor would put a ban on that well why not say well you know maybe some people they can try it and hopefully it helps and we do and to tell the people well we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cases now one guy was working with 40 400 cases he said none of them have died and they're all getting better many have already become cured why would someone ban that why would an American governor of a state two of them now ban chloroquine when it has no negative effects think about it it's really you gotta admit that's pretty bizarre so 37 to 18 
where I drew this line, prices can't dip down to 1750. Luckily we got out because look, they goosed them straight back up to 47, which, you know, we would have had to tolerate, but I'm just trying to show you how rigged this market is right now. The riggers, the Fed riggers are in there just iron grip on it. It's untradeable practically. 37 minus 18 is plus 19 on that deal. Now, I told you I was committed to getting back our whole amount, which was 27 on those last two trades. But 19 helps. That means if we take out the, the clearly what was a test trade, Not trade number, well, it was our fifth trade of the day. It was actually, I called it a, a, a test trade, but also a volunteer trade. It's like, if you want to try it, go ahead. And that one got stopped out. So if we just go back to the trades we've taken, and number two was clearly a test trade. We didn't, we're out of trading. See, our room is done for the day. We made 12 points in two minutes right off the opening of the room today. It's $470 on two contracts. Our traders are done, most of them. If they want to keep going, I said I would do some, after testing the market a little, I'd do some volunteer trades. Well, notice they went right up now, and hit that purple line that I had pointed out to you earlier, and now they're just herky-jerking around it. It's because the market this is just like when the crash came. There's a pile, a massive pile of sellers, and the Fed just cr kept trying to fight them to stop them out and stuff. So there's a massive pile of shorts here. Um, I don't want to take another short because I see what they're doing. At some point, unless it breaks really hard, they're going to try a regoose to try to move it up higher, which is fine. But... I'm telling you, it's just setting up another big crashy kind of move. Kind of like we had yesterday, which I called yesterday. I said, you know, they were up 1,200 on the Dow at one point, and they closed at 500. And I got it right here. I, I keep records of all this stuff here. The Dow closed at f up 495, just under 500 points. And it was up 1,200. And I said, there's too many bulls thing can't sustain itself well now this is all rigging here and it's great they're up 1200 again but guess what happened yesterday the ides of 1200 right <laughs> uh oh what could go wrong with 1200 points up so let's try another one let's try again 20 point stop and let's go ahead and go short at the market right here order fell 36 move 36 down to 10 again we're short around uh, 36 as an average. And I think it'll be a lot more than that. 36 is an average. We're short. And I'm focusing on 77.10. Probably could go down to 7700. Let's see if we can get these 36s to work down under 20. On a hard, fast drop under 20, Watch for a move down to 10, but be very careful if they drop very quickly down to 15 or lower, go ahead and exit the trade. If they fast drop under 15, go ahead and exit the trade. Fast drop under 15, go ahead and exit. One more hit here. Let's see, get one more hit under 20, knocking them down under 15, ideally. 16, make it 16. 16 or lower. I think they're going back down to 7,700 on this move, but... I don't want to stick around and, you know, have them whipsaw this trade again. They might. Let's see if we can break one more time, 20, and let's go back to the same thing of trying to, just trying to get 17 or lower. I keep up in it, but that's for a reason. 17 or lower. 17 or lower. Oh, come on, Murphy. You're killing me. Did they go 17? They went 1750. Jeez, what a market. It's because of the rigging. It's so sticky. Trying to get them down under. Let's go. 
back to seven stick with 17 17 or lower we're trying to get 17 or lower boom we got them order filled Jeez, it's like pulling teeth with these damn fed riggers all right so we were short at 37 got our money back for you told you I would 37 and out at 17 Murphy dr. Murphy I joke about you've heard of Murphy's law you know you put a hammer on your wood desk out in the garage it's been there you haven't used it for oh say three weeks or so and it's all it's just sitting that same exact spot and you go out your garage pull your car out and there's your hammer and one day you go, oh I need my hammer you go out there you go to the and you look and it's not there Murphy's law and you call your son Johnny have you used the hammer no dad I've been working on my computer <laughs> what else I've been looking at my uh, smartphone all day anyway just kidding and then you ask your wife, honey, have you seen this hammer out here in the garage? Gee, no, I haven't, John. Uh, Murphy's Law, you see. Now, this thing's probably going to, there's 7710, which was our original target. But I'm not, I don't like to wait, you know. And you saw how they were whipping that stuff back up. So 37 to 17 plus 20 points. 20 points in that deal. So... We had those two stopouts, right? And this is why I say in the room all the time, we don't allow cry crybabies in the day traders action room. I can get our money back, but you got to you got to stop the crybaby crap and just be really mature. It takes a mature adult to trade the futures and see these kind of action occur in, in rapid fire. But the only way to learn that I can do this is to see the proof. And now we have it on a recording but if you're in the room a while you just have to realize this is a business and to run this business what you need to do is finance the business just like a pizza parlor you start a pizza parlor that was the first business I learned from the ground up first you gotta lease a building in a fairly decent mall or a store location where people can see it from the street ideally not necessarily because you can do a lot of on phone orders and stuff but ideally that helps well that lease is going to cost you a bunch of money up front then you got to put in ovens you got to put in a refrigerator you got to get the pizza containers that you carry to the door to keep the pizza hot you got to put in a decent phone system that has a good caller ID so when they call you it'll bring up their name and you can actually pick up the phone hi mr. Johnson did you still want a large uh, everything and he goes yeah how'd you know it well sir we aim to please you know that kind of stuff those are expensive and you need employees and then you got to get them insured and all that usual stuff just to open the doors now you got to spend money on advertising to run the business get the ads to do what that's right sell the pizzas get those pizzas delivered out <laughs> so you're running a business right well do you think you can do that on ten thousand dollars no the ovens and the the uh, everything are more than that the refrigerator you got the regulators coming in to check on making sure all the conditions are right you need money in the bank to shore up your business when the ads don't pull everybody's buying pizza today you guys can't get them out fast enough but then one day the phones don't ring for no reason who the hell knows the phones aren't ringing today anyway you get the idea so we just gained 29 points there and we lost 29 or no 20 39 points so on those last two trades plus 19 which you saw live with your own eyes and it's all recorded plus 19 plus 20 that's 39 points the previous two trades and if you're squabbling about those or go oh oh I'll see you lost two times in a row oh, oh, oh. see quit focusing on the negative on the loss focus on the positive you're with the day traders action room now you can focus on the positive because we're gonna make money we're gonna make money just about every day have to say just about we've made money every day this month Except one day we stood aside because I couldn't read the market. I couldn't see what it was so weird. Anyway, today 
for our, our room we had one initial trade which was 12 points and I tell all the traders to stop there we hit our target and that's good if they did or come in step into the the twilight zone and we'll take a bunch more risk and get you out then we had a test trade that gained 24 points and then we had a volunteer trade essentially four volunteer trades here's the results plus 15 points minus 12 minus 17 plus 19 and plus 20. now you've all those have been recorded on this tape as far as i think that first one was at 12 that 15 points anyway that's what we had the other i know the last two were in the two stop outs but here's the total the gain is 15 plus 19 plus 20 and the losses are 12 and 17. so on the that on these alone that we took on the volunteer trades after we made our initial 12 points we made an additional 25 points on one two three four five trades five trades you with me so let me do the math we'll break it down on the whole enchilada 25 points per contract times twenty dollars per contract that's 500 points and five trades times four dollars and fifty cents is 2250 so we always round that up to 23 that's the commission so 500 minus 23 dollars is 477 that's per contract if you multiply that by two which most of our room members when the markets get normal again we'll get everybody back up to four contracts you can do as many as you want but I'm just saying if you can handle the heat that's fine good job look at them whipping that market back up off of where 7710 remember that was our original goal 7710 went down to seven area whipping them straight back up look at that whipping them right back up to that purple line like a like this never happened really risky market 477 so we're measuring now our track record by two because I'm assuming most of the traders are trading one to two lots but our regular members probably cutting their regular size in half two is a nine hundred and fifty four dollar paycheck do you see how that works if you got those exact entries and exits which you didn't there was going to be difference there but I was as close as I could I leaned towards the lower prices trying to be honest as possible on these as we always are we're known for our honesty and, and crystal clarity of the trades so we had 470 on trade number one the first trade of the day and if it's a big if you took all the volunteer trades a day you gain 25 additional points plus 954 that's fourteen hundred and twenty four dollars based on two contracts on the mini NAS which is very small amount and that can be done with a small account five thousand bucks or so I think they've raised the margins I'll have to check on that but we won't do that now I, I just uh, we'll, we'll end this recording now and thanks for listening on YouTube join our room go to daytradersaction.com and just look at the section trade live with Mohan and uh, that will help you in fact let me show you the site here real quick two things I want to show you and then we'll end uh, this session Let me just show you this here. Just go to Day Traders Action, Trade Live with Mohan, or just go to DayTradersAction.com and then search for Trade Live with Mohan. You'll see this section here with me. You can see me giving a back when they had live seminars this was a live seminar I did with 320 traders flew in from around the globe just to see me
present my methods. There was, it wasn't a group or multi-trader program. It was just me. 320 traders. Over a dozen of them were floor traders that left the floor, which the floor is a big thing back then. Those were the gods of the trading pits. 12 of them or more that I talked to a bunch of them. They said, oh, there's Johnny over there. Oh, wow, there's Rick. Man, wow, everybody's here. Over 12 floor traders came in from the S&P 500 pits to see me and over 20 brokers, Chicago brokers. They don't leave their phones and their commissions to come and see some guy trade, but I had set up an opportunity for them. They could uh, make some money if they wanted to talk to some of our customers. So they were all on that. And then they had the floor traders there and this is our creed. What if you could go to work in the morning for the first two to three hours? Today it was two to three minutes. Have the rest of the day off, a three-day weekend, and make up to 300 to 1,000 bucks a day. Our traders in three minutes, not two to three hours, but two to three minutes, made $470 today, and they were done for the day. And as mentioned, if they took the volunteer trades, they add an additional um, $954 to that. We're one of the most profitable yet lowest cost trading futures trading services available today. And if you're brand new to the room, you, our friends on YouTube, you can start for just $39 to start the live training, which is things like today and the things I told you and other very valuable things for you and your family, such as the history of this whole coronavirus uh, nightmare that was perpetrated on us by your pals, the impeachment folks and the Mueller, 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 Russia, Russia, Russia's colluding, Trump's colluding with Russia. Three years of that crap. Same people. It's called the deep state. We call them the criminals. Criminal riggers. <clears throat> so you can join us and also please listen to the warning that I gave you earlier about what could possibly happen starting any time between now especially around April 12th and especially around April 19th. And I'll tell you about that later. Join the room and I'll tell you why April 19th is important. So thanks again for joining us uh, here for this session today on YouTube.